Hello and welcome to this session on Docker basic commands. This is going to be a very easy and interesting session on learning the Docker basic commands and I have categorized these commands as basic, images, containers and the Docker commands used for Docker system. So these are the very basic commands and the very frequently used Docker commands. Of course we will learn many more Docker commands when we learn about containers images, how to create docker images, how to create docker files and we will learn about docker compose and all these things. But this is a very quick and basic sessions on docker commands and using these commands you should be able to work with most of your requirements in a project working on docker. So let's get started and let me open my terminal. So as of now I am on a Mac operating system so I am using a terminal. If you are on Windows, you can use your Windows command line or you can also use PowerShell. And if you are following this session on Linux, you can use the Linux command line. The only prerequisite is Docker must be installed on your system. And this we have already learned in the earlier session how to install Docker. So assuming that Docker is installed on your system, I will start this session. And let me also split my screen so that you can see the terminal and the text side by side. So the very first command is docker version and this command gives us the information about the docker client and the docker server which is the docker engine. So we get information about the version of docker client, the API version, the go programming language version and similarly for server we get all these details. So this is going to be a very handy command if you want to look at your client and server versions and the next command is docker space minus v and this gives us the version of docker so as of now i am on docker version 18.03 also you can use docker space minus minus version which will be the same command and it will give us the same output let us go to the other command which is docker info and this command will give you a little detailed information about the docker that is installed on your system. So you can see the very first section gives us the number of containers running, paused, stopped and the number of images. As of now we do not have any images or containers so we are getting zero for all these fields. And then the server version, the, the driver details, uh, plugin information and other informations so the system time and all these things proxies and other things so of course you might not be interested in many of these but of course if you want to have some quick look into the information on the docker that is running on your system you can run docker info the other command is docker space minus minus help now this is going to be a very useful command in your docker journey because you can use this command to get information on any other command so the way you can use this command is for example you want to get information on docker images command so you can say docker images and then space minus minus help so here it is giving us all the details about docker images so the usage you have to use it like docker images and the options repository tag and these are the options minus a to show all the images uh, minus Q which is a quite flag to only show the numeric IDs of the images and so on. So for example I want to say uh, docker run so docker run is a command and I do not know the usage of docker run so I will say docker run minus minus help. So again it will show me all the options I can use with docker run. So docker help is going to be a very useful command and the other command is docker login. So docker login here you can use this command to login to your hub.docker.com and whatever username you had created. So for example let me go to my browser and let me go to google and go to docker hub. Docker hub is a repository for docker images and here if you want to pull or push your images and basically if you want to push your images to a docker hub you need to have a docker account created and you can see my account is already created and this is the username Raghav Pal and in case I want to log in from the terminal I can use docker login and here I have to use the 
username and password so let me try login here I will give my username and my password and press enter and let's just wait and you can see login succeeded so this is again going to be a very handy command now let us come to docker images and before I do that uh, let me just shorten this string so this is a long string which is occupying a lot of space I will say export ps1 equals username and dollar and space so yes I'm getting a shorter version so what I did just now was just to reduce the size or reduce the length of this particular uh, name okay so now we have come to docker images so the very first command is docker images and this gives us the list of all the images we have and of course we do not have anything so we use the other command to pull the image here I can say docker pull and I can give the name of any image so if you are on docker hub and you can get any image let me go to the repositories I will go to explore repositories and here you can get any repository for example uh, let me say I want to get an Ubuntu image I will click on Ubuntu and press enter and you can see this is the Ubuntu image if you go to the details from here it will show you the docker pull command is docker pull Ubuntu so I will say docker pull Ubuntu and you can see it is it will use the latest tag by default if you do not provide it and it is now pulling it from the library so it is downloading the image let us just wait for this download to get completed and yes it is done now so let me just clear and if I now say docker images you can see now it is showing us Ubuntu and this image was created three weeks ago or was updated three weeks ago and this is the latest tag of course if you want to get the options for docker images command I will again go to docker images and say help and here you can see all these options so let us try this minus q flag so I will say docker images minus q and this gives us only the image id and nothing else however if I say docker images and we can say minus a flag as well so this gives us all the details and this is the id that we just got here as well okay let me clear the terminal and the other command is docker rmi so before I run this command I will say docker rmi and say docker rmi space minus minus help and this is to remove one or more images okay so if you want to remove the image you use this command and you can use the minus f flag to force removal so if I say docker images minus q to get the image id which is this one I will copy this and say docker rmi and the image id and you can see this this is now deleted and now if I say docker images I don't have any image okay let us now come to containers so for containers the very first command is docker ps and if I say docker ps space minus minus help to look at the working of this it is used to list the containers and you can say minus a to show all the containers and then there are other options like minus q is the quiet flag so I will say docker docker ps and here as of now I don't have any container so what I can do is I can use the other command docker run to run a container now for example I am using docker run I will say Ubuntu now do you remember we have already deleted our Ubuntu image so the Ubuntu image is no longer available on our local system so if I will say docker run Ubuntu what it will say is unable to find the image locally so it will start pulling it from the library which is docker hub and then it will start the container so it is now extracting downloading and extracting so you can see it has downloaded the image and if we say docker ps you can see still we do not have 
the container running however we have the image but we do not have the container running so in case of ubuntu what i can do is i can say docker run and i can use the minus it flag so if i go to docker run minus minus help you can see there should be a flag with minus i and this is for interactive and the flag t is for allocating a pseudo tty so what this means in a simple language is we want to start the ubuntu system ubuntu container and log into it or start the command prompt of ubuntu so i will say docker run minus it for interactive and i can say ubuntu i can say sh or even this should work fine and now you can see we are inside the ubuntu container and we are on the ubuntu system if i say ls you can see we are now actually inside ubuntu so now if i run the command docker ps i should get the container running however i cannot run it here because this is i am here inside ubuntu so i will press command t to go to a new tab on the terminal if you are on windows you can start a new command prompt and then i will say let me again uh, shorten the name here so i will say docker ps and now you can see the container running and this is the container id and now you can uh, run the command docker start and stop so docker start and the container id will start the container docker stop and the container id will stop the container so now we have stopped if you go back here you can see it has automatically given an exit command and it has come out of that container and it is now on our local system now let us also see very quickly some system commands so one command is docker stats and this gives us the details on the running containers memory usage the input output and so on so let us try to again run our docker container and then just see run this command i will say docker run minus it ubuntu and we are inside ubuntu and if i run this command now see you it is already showing us now the memory usage i can again run this command and you can see it is showing the memory the containers the network input output and everything so while you are running your containers and you want to check about the memory usage on your system from docker you can run this command then we have the command called docker system df so in case you want to check the disk usage of docker you can run this command docker system df so it will give us the images containers local volumes build and the size which is being taken by all these docker elements and all the information about the disk usage and then the next last command is docker system prune now be very careful before running this command let me just show you if i say docker system prune and say minus minus help so this is uh, this command is used to remove unused data so if you say minus a flag it will remove all unused images not just the dangling ones so dangling images means the images which are not associated with the running container now minus f is a force flag now be very 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 careful let me show you if i say docker system prune it is giving me a warning this will remove all stopped containers and all networks not used by at least one container all dangling images that is the images not associated with the running container and alt build cache so let me first say n and let me first show you the images which are there as of now so i will say docker images and you can see we have just an ubuntu image and if we say docker ps we again have an container running from the ubuntu image so if i will run the command docker system prune and i say yes so you can see total reclaimed space is 3 bytes and if i run the command docker images my ubuntu image is still there and if i run the command 
docker ps my container is still running because this container was running and the image was being used so it did not delete them however let me stop the container first so i will just stop the container docker stop and the container id okay and now i will run the command docker system prune and say yes and now if i say docker ps i do not have anything running if i say docker ps minus a i do not have any container here as well so the container is deleted and if i say docker images i have the images so if i say docker system prune minus a and see it is giving me a warning this will remove all stopped containers all networks and all images without at least one container if i say yes you can see it is saying total reclaimed spaces 81.15 mb and if i go to docker images you can see the images deleted so be very careful while using this particular command which is docker system prune and these are the top basic and very frequently used commands with docker if you have understanding of these commands it will be very easy for you to work with dockers we will learn more on dockers in the coming sessions i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching